our head like a hammer And my thoughts were running wild Any fool can make a baby But it takes a man to raise a child Morning. Well, I don't even know if you consider this morning because it's still nighttime. It is 3 o'clock in the morning, March 20th. So right now we're heading to the hospital. I thought it was going to be like, um, to be honest, like one of those movies that you see the husband or the guy like rush to the hospital. It's nothing like that. They gave us an option to deliver him today, I guess you could say, because she's not dilating. So we could either waited until he wanted to come out, but then the doctor said that would involve more testing, which we had so much testing already that we just want him out. We're done with testing. So we're gonna try to induce her today. Hopefully it's a short process. And um, hopefully everything turns out okay. So that's my situation right now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm still, I'm so tired, dude. I guess it's true what they say. Sleeping stops when you have a kid. I guess I'm starting early. How you doing? You get a good nap? I'm going to try to sleep as much as possible. I haven't had an ounce of sleep. Maybe two hours tops. And I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I, that's why I fell asleep as soon as I could when I got home. When we were home. Because. Mm. Yeah, so we're still waiting. She's starting to feel contractions. Not, contractions. Well, the, not feeling, but. The, they're happening. Yeah, they're happening. Yeah, they're happening. They're saying they're happening. So. <sighs> Hopefully today, man. Uh, one of the nurses says that it could take up to 12 hours. Yikes! Maybe she said, maybe not even come today. Maybe tomorrow morning. Who so Who knows? I just, I, I just need to sleep. So we'll keep you updated. See what else goes on. A few moments later. Hey everyone. So quick update. We've been here for about 18 hours now. Damn! And still no baby. Alexis is knocked out. She's exhausted. Right now they have her hooked up, checking the baby's heart rate, I believe, and I believe contractions too. She's, I give props, Alexis is a trooper. Um, she's getting contractions and still no epidural, no pain medicine, nothing. She's thugging it out. I have a pretty strong wife. Oh, by the way, I got my own little bed here. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. I do miss my own bed though. Hopefully it doesn't take long. The nurse said, however, it may take a couple days after the baby's born. They normally stay here in the hospital for 24 hours for evaluation and all that stuff. Um, she said that she has seen, she has seen um, pregnant women um, take up to three days. Tell no. We're gonna get some sleep. If anything comes up, hopefully tonight, who knows? We'll see. The next day. It's almost been officially 24 hours since we arrived. And my wife here. How you doing over there, Tiger? Tony the Tiger. <laughs> you okay? Tony the Tiger. Show him what you could do. <laughs> <laughs> She's um, experiencing contractions now, and I think it's gonna be any, any time now. Maybe within the hour or two, my guess. A uh, nurse came by earlier and um, said a doctor's gonna come and break her water. Hang in there, sport. You could do it. She hates me right now so bad. We are finally moments away. How are you feeling? out now but finally I'm so nervous right now so um, nervous. I, th I think I'm gonna be the type of person that passes out these days of dark which we've known 
will blow away with this new sun. But I. Congratulations, you played yourself. You just want to be a little complicated. I don't see baby. That was so emotional, man. Literally the best feeling in the world. I'll talk about it more in a bit. Smile. How you feeling? I'm exhausted. I, man, I give her a lot of props. During the whole um, birth delivery, she did not scream. She did not yell like I thought she would. You thought I was gonna yell at you? No, not not at me, but like you're like ah, like you know you see the in the movies. Oh my god! I thought it was gonna be you for a second, but no, she she's a trooper, man. I'm telling you, this this woman amazed me. <laughs> and. <laughs> It was very emotional, man. Like, the whole, everything. I, to be honest, I was afraid, like, I was gonna lose you and the baby or something. Oh, is something that where like you that. were like, it has Dude. a Lexus. Like, after the baby was born, they were checking, taking out the, making you cry. Because they were taking a while with me, because you don't know. Yeah. Because they have to do the core blood, they have to take everything out and clean you and stuff. And so you up. He's like, is she okay? Because I got a fever. And that's why he was good. Like, there was a concern. Yeah, I was concerned. I'm like, oh my God. I was thinking the worst. But thankfully, right now, everything's okay. And I guess you could say we're officially the Robles family now. Um, it's going to be a crazy journey. And hopefully, you guys will follow along. Um, I don't know what's next, man. I really don't know what's next. What do you think? <laughs> Dude, we're parents, man. It's not just me and you anymore, honey. Oh my god. I'm gonna take care of this little one who likes to cry. He's not, he's, to be honest, I've, I've seen crying babies a lot. He cries. He's not a cry, he's like no. a yell or something. Yeah, he's like, I want food. He goes, Mah. Yeah. And you're like, okay, then he comes down. He has a big cone head right now, too. It's from the I, I know, I know, Alexis, but it still looks weird, man. Mm -hmm. It looks very weird. It's very hard to push you out. Wow. Really We're parents. Way. It's mind blowing. He's so cute. Huh? He's so cute. Yeah, he is. He's perfect. Man, shout out to the nurse though. Oh my god. She was very, very good. Like, amazing. We, if we were to have a daughter, I think I would have named her after her, to be honest. What was her name? Tiffany. Tiffany. If we had another nurse that wasn't as um, attentive and, um, I don't know, on her stuff, I don't think we would have been able to make it. Especially you, she kept motivating you, and mm -hmm. I wish I could have recorded that, but they told I me I couldn't. Like, I would, I like, yeah, she, she helped me motivate me to push, but then also, like, when I saw Dr. Ty, I was like, I really gotta push, like, I gotta push, find somehow to push the way they want me to, because I didn't understand them at first. No, good thing I caught on. Yeah, because I didn't get it, I was no. like, I thought she would like, hold it, like, stop. Yeah, so when they were telling her to push, right? They told her, push, or what, what did they say? Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. And then they said, hold on, hold on. When they said, hold on, she stopped. After the second time, I'm like, maybe she's thinking the other way around. And she was. She thought hold on was stop. But in reality, hold on was keep going. Like, hold on, keep, like hold your breath. Because when you're pushing out, you're supposed to hold your breath. And I, I don't know. I'm out of words, man. Hopefully, um, we go home tomorrow and start a big journey.
So for real, what are we naming him? Let's write it down. What is it?